All right, guys, I got with me here an Audi A6 that has a dead fuel pump, and I'll be showing you how to replace it without any special tools. Before starting off, please make sure that the battery is disengaged from the vehicle. The fuel pump for this vehicle is located underneath the rear passenger seat cushion. To remove it, all you have to do is firmly pull up on either side of the seat cushion and it should pop right out. Right here there are two black covers that look identical, however the fuel pump is located on the one with the electrical wire running from it, so for this vehicle it would be that one. The cover is held down with three Phillips head screws, that's one, two, and three. Now you can remove the cover. To prevent all this dirt from entering the fuel pump, it's a good idea to first clean up around this area. Alright, now to remove the electrical connector, gently pry up on the plastic tab while pulling the connector out. To remove the metal fuel line clamps, gently wedge a flathead screwdriver in between the clamp and twist it until it's broken free. Alright, now just twist off the fuel line with a set of pliers and make sure to wrap the pliers with electrical tape. I forgot to do it here, but it's a good idea if you do so. Once removed, label the fuel line with the appropriate arrow to prevent confusion during installation. Now do the same for the other one. To remove the lock ring, use a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and then tap the edge of the ring counterclockwise like this in order to remove it. Although I lost the clip before this part, all I did up until this point was pull up on the cap, remove this rubber gasket, and disconnect these two wires from the cap. Alright, this next part was my homemade solution or substitution for Audi's expensive special tool that they say is required to remove this fuel pump. So all you will need to do to remove this fuel pump is grab a couple long wrenches and then just hold both in a crisscross position and make sure that the wrenches are in the appropriate slots on the side of the fuel pump which are these slots right here then just twist the fuel pump counterclockwise in order for it to disengage from the lock now pull up on the fuel pump and make sure that it's free all right next for the pump to be removed you would need to remove this fuel line from the cap, remove the clip with a flathead screwdriver, and twist the hose off with pliers. Alright, with that out, now you can move the hose to the side, and finally remove the pump from the tank. Dry off these two wires and tape it to the side to prevent it from falling in the tank. Although this part is not required, I manually pumped out the remaining fluid from the tank so that I could remove some dirt from the bottom of the tank that fell in there. Okay, now bring your pump to your workstation and remove the hose that's connected to the pump. Next, remove the two electrical wires that's connected to the pump. Now bring your new part and inspect it to make sure that it's similar to the original part. I'll leave a link in the description below for where I found the parts that I used. Alright, now it's time to reassemble the new fuel pump. To begin with, first start off by pulling the clamp over the fuel line and then reattaching the fuel line back to the fuel pump. My parts store didn't have the correct fuel line clamps that I took off from the fuel line, so I'll leave a link to the correct ones in the description below. Reattach these two wires, which are different sizes, so you really can't mess it up when installing. Next bring the reassembled new fuel pump back over to the fuel tank of your car and place it in the housing and turn it until you feel it fall into the locking mechanism like this. Alright now grab your homemade special fuel pump tool and repeat the same process as in the beginning of the video however just turn the pump clockwise this time until you hear it snap into place 
double check to make sure that the fuel pump is securely seated then place the clamp over the hose and reattach the remaining hose to the top piece then tighten the clamp reattach the remaining two electrical connectors then pull the rubber gasket over the cap and fuel lines and press it into place around the opening Gently bring the top piece down and readjust the hoses and the wires so that the cap can be seated securely. Then place the lock ring on top. Adjust the cap piece to its final position like this making sure that the fuel lines can reach without stretching too much. Finally with one hand pressing down the cap turn the ring clockwise in order to secure it in place. Then come in with a hammer and a flathead screwdriver or something similar and hit along the edge of the lock ring. Alright now it's time to reattach the rubber hoses. Place the clamp over the hose, push the hose into the correct nozzle that was marked in the beginning of the video and then tighten the clamp around the nozzle. Now do the same for the other one. Place the clamp over the hose, push in the fuel line and tighten the clamp around the nozzle. Reattach the rubber wire grommet and finally plug in the electrical connector. Next make sure to fill the tank up with at least a gallon or two of fuel before starting the vehicle. Now reinstall the battery and get ready to start the car. To prime the fuel pump and pressurize the fuel lines, turn the key to the on position, not start but the on position and then back off about two to three times before starting. Alright now the moment of truth will the car actually start? And there you have it in less than two hours the car is back up and running once again. So now after you have checked everything the last step is to reinstall the black cover plate with the three Phillips head screws and finally reinstall the seat by pushing it into place. And that's it you're done. If you guys found this video helpful in some way it would be great if you could hit that like button as well as subscribe. More videos to come soon. And again all the links that I mentioned and didn't mention will be linked in the description below.